Solutioneering Utopia. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 567. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Hey everyone, Jay again, here with our January 29th, 2024 edition of our weekly progress update. Today I want to talk about solutioneering utopia. And solutioneering is about creating solutions and crafting solutions. And utopia is a very subjective word. It has a lot of different meanings for people, but I'm going to talk about how what we're creating we think applies to everybody. And while utopia may be subjective, what's not subjective is how we objectively have a global problem with homelessness, food insecurity, right now lack of energy infrastructure, and many, many places. We're poisoning our water, we're poisoning our air, we are destroying ecosystems, we are clear-cutting our old growth forests, and it doesn't have to be that way. And our approach up to this point has been one of band-aids versus solutions, putting band-aids on these problems and, and attacking them and addressing them as if they are our individual problems and not interconnected versus a solutioneering approach of looking at all these problems as interconnected and not just food insecurity and homelessness, but crime and poverty in general, social injustice, and inequality, and how these things relate to sustainability as well. And so, which is amazing because we have the ability, we have the technology, we have the, the know-how, we have the resources to create a world that works for everyone. And that would be my overarching definition of utopia is a world that works for everyone. And then, and, and a way to create that in such a manner that people can create their own little pockets of that world that works for everyone in a way that works best for them. And so addressing all of these problems with a comprehensive solution and a comprehensive approach that looks at them as not only interconnected, but as interdependent. So when one community talks about solutionary utopia, that's what we're talking about. How do we create a world modeled after the highest good for all people and all life on this planet, building it on a foundation of sustainability because that is something that impacts us all and including not only the physical foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as food, energy, and housing, most people agree on that, but also including the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified and call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship. Like how to manage and take care of it all and to open source and free share it all, in our case, so it can be adaptable to the changing challenges of our generation generations to come while simultaneously addressing all of these challenges that are in, a, in an interconnected way, in an interdependent way, and recognizing that if we can create a solution that addresses all of them simultaneously, then we're really looking at the comprehensive solution that's needed. If we can make that easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And that's what we see as the ultimate solutioneering of utopia and the ultimate solution to all these challenges that we're facing right now is creating an open source model that can adapt to all these different challenges that takes into consideration all these challenges and builds it on the physical foundations and the emotional foundations of sustainability to create a comprehensive sustainability model that addresses all these things at the same time and open sources it and free shares it so that it can be applied around the world creating a culture and a paradigm of cooperation and collaboration built on these teacher demonstration hubs that take all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions that we're designing for the food, the energy, the housing, the education, fulfilled living, economics, and stewardship, putting all these things together in a teacher demonstration hub that provides so much more than it takes such that the people living there have the abundance and the resources to help others. And it's a teacher demonstration hub designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. Solutioneering teacher demonstration hubs. 
teacher demonstration hubs designed to create to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs as well. So we're not just giving a person a fish, we're not just teaching a person to fish, we're teaching teachers how to teach fishing. And in this metaphor, fishing is comprehensive sustainability, this foundation of the physical and the emotional sustainability put together to create a, a comprehensive sustainability foundation that provides everything that people need to be able to meet their needs, to support their, their friends, their family, everybody living together in this environment, and teach other people how to live this way as well. And again, making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own and become accessible to everybody that needs it so we can reach that tipping point of global participation, that critical mass of global participation such that we can positively impact the lives of everyone everywhere in some way and eventually, within our lifetime, achieve a sustainable civilization, a sustainable world through that critical mass, through enough participation, and through the step-by-step -step plans and guides and creating this uniquely meaningful life experience within this environment that people want so it's attractive so it spreads on its own, and sharing these breakthrough living and thriving models in a way that's accessible to everybody so that it can self-propagate and propagate and multiply and redefine this paradigm of competition and and capitalism versus contributionism and collaboration and cooperation to show that the everyone for themselves paradigm is ridiculous. It's ridiculous when we have the ability to create, live and create for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. And if we can meet the needs of people, if people like this, everyone for themselves paradigm makes a lot of sense. If you're struggling to survive, you need that to survive. But if we can address everybody's needs and create environments that really meet people's needs and provide everything that they need, uh, history has shown that people will come together and help each other. Not everyone, but we don't need everyone. We just need, like I said, to reach that critical mass. And so we're bringing together people with shared values and interests, and we're creating this grassroots movement of solutionary utopia through open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of sustainable living, putting them together to build one community as the first of many hundreds, thousands of teacher demonstration hubs that will evolve and improve and create more and more iterations of what it is that we're doing and open sourcing and free sharing all of those as the foundation such that the more we give away, the more we open source, the more we free share, the more fun and amazing the environment is that we create and the more we share that with others, inviting hundreds of thousands of people to participate annually is where we're going with this just in one community. The more we share and the more we invite people to participate and get involved, the more successful it is. And open sourcing and free sharing that foundation as well. So this is how we're introducing a grassroots movement for change. You know, we're looking at band-aids versus solutions and we're focused on the solution model instead. And we're saying, how do we create meaningful change? You know, and how do we tap into the phenomenal growth potential of humanity and our ability to make change when we want to, to make comprehensive change that addresses all these things simultaneously. Say this is a problem that we want to solve as a species, and it's in our best interest to do that, and creating the step-by-step, do-it-yourself instructions for that. And so, you know, it's um, it's critical what we're doing. It's essential what it is that we're creating, and everybody's invited to participate. You know, we're an all volunteer organization, including myself. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We've worked with over 900 volunteers. We've done over 300,000 hours of research and development at this point. We think we're just a couple of years away from being ready to start construction, and um, everyone's invited to participate. So if you'd like to get involved, you know, visit our helping page. There's all the different ways to get involved there. It's like the easiest way to support us. Like and subscribe. Uh, uh, to our YouTube channel, or better yet, if you like a weekly email, because YouTube doesn't really serve things up anymore the way that they used to. Uh, if you like one email a week from our organization, uh, subscribe through our website, through our subscribe page. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to see exactly what it is that our team has accomplished within the last week, visit our weekly progress update blog. And of course, if you'd like to see all that open source content, the results of 300,000 hours of research and development and design process, visit our website. And yeah, this is how we're solutionary and utopia and everybody's invited to participate. So with that said, thanks for watching the end. Until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.
The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Thank you.